Yes, can you hear me? This is okay? Everyone can hear me. Oh, yeah, so that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Masutun Yatutun Kat Musharraq. First, I will say a few words in Assyrian, then we will change to English. Rabba Khaduti Yortela, the Diom at Makarwan Katawhon, Khatan Miakarta, Rabba Deli, Tetlan Nakwe, Sharoke. جو دها لومادا و آها خا توصله خشراره له دمغزویه نه آن یقی راثا قد نقوا آتوریتا مصیا پل خو مطیل درغ اللهی بشویت ارزا و بشویت نقوا تیولیتا و اتی صورا آن نقوا دلخت ادیو بدهای توسا قا کلای علی ماتان و بناتان قد بخشی بیا ارخ Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very uh, honored to present for you our respected sister, Eve Giwargi Sada from the University of Oklahoma. She's doctor of musical art and uh, her dissertation is about Assyrian chants from the liturgy of the Church of the East. So please, Eve, the stage is yours. شارتا صبر خنطا و قدم تخم رختا میقرام الپان ابرم مل پنیات میقیراتا عم الپان میقیره اتی رابا خدوتا قریت تخم قدی اتیو جداها لومادا و لومادا رابا انم قایتی ل جاي قام التوايا قداهم دي تشبرتا قبل صوب السلامانكا بخشون أنا بردنة خدش مجان تميلا بالجنسايد ومريف شريان خدش change of plans ودلي وشريان من music رابع من أخو أنا تري يومان بقوري ومو دي عادت okay we know you know history language in a مو عادت music مو دي ل music conducting so I'll show you some of what I do. خدم من نه این بلیشان عوراي نخراي German Latin من يعني تو دخلو جو بالصوبت أوكلاهوما و خدم من نه يلوبت بالصوبت جو صوبت بالصوبت أوكلاهوما قمل بنو خدم Assyrian hymns let's say لا chance سب أن chance نيا خدش Lelah senai kali Oriental makams Oriental tuning is different. So I'm going to play to you this far. That's fine.
two violins, cello, and piano. I will move it a little bit to the next. Okay. Okay, here. Al Tarach, it was really hard for them. And with the mask, with the singing mask, it was really. You can see. I'm so glad everyone participating. Yes, I will, I will sing it. I know how to yeah. sing it, what? but I don't have it. Do you have it on computer? Yeah. I think now. I think now it's the hallelujah part. So for my dissertation, I did not do the Western kind of, kind of music, um, and I chose to uh, work on Qalid Ayatid Madanha. And when I started, I was like, I'm in a big trouble. Again, like uh, Elda and other colleagues and friends, they said, no sources. 
And if you could find some sources in history, language, we have Malpane, but in music, fine arts, like academically something documented, you only see Facebook or some kind of websites, you know, nothing academically uh, from like the East Rite tradition. Now, the West, there is some articles, some dissertations, but like sometimes I'm thinking like zero dissertations on the East Rite tradition about Qal Ta'ita. There is a difference. The system used, and we're not gonna go through it because now we have limited time, very limited time. So between the West, uh, right tradition, they have a different system in Qali. Okay, even if it's the same Unita, same, it's different. The the sound, the Qali, the, the the music, the melody, Penta. Um, okay, it's different. So it was challenging, but what I was, I was not surprised. But whoever I asked for help, <laughs> Malpan Afram maybe was one of the first ones. Everyone was very very. Uh, happy to help. So I was contacting people from Canada, Sweden, Tahran Mukra Nino Siosib, Timahe Oud, Min Mame, Dr. Leon, yeah, Rabo Plichle with Makamat, help El Gidlele, how a pound mini, a placha, with the Makamat, about Maha Oud, Masa Anna, I play piano, I cannot. Uh, analyze maqamat al piano. So, Rabba Nashib, Lachlumini, Rabita, Milpenta, Farida Adam, I go Kennedy, Hoya, Itla Rabba, Chubbaka, Khalid Aita, Kalishana, everything. So, I in Kuladani, Hoya, Wamini, Shamshani, different churches. So, I went to everyone. I asked help from everyone, whether it was. Um, Ancient Church, Assyrian Church of the East, uh, Maronite Church, Chaldean Church in Iraq, in Erbil. So I contacted everyone, and everyone was so happy to help me. So I'm thankful to everyone. Um, so Hadia, George, I slide one, but show how slide slide and 24. Um, let's see. So. The topic was Assyrian and again, dash Syriac, so anyone can, uh, when they can search, so they can find what I want to present, Syriac chants from the liturgy of the Church of the East. So, now these are my long-term goals. It's not what is in the dissertation, but my long-term goals is to preserve the legacy of the Assyrian chants and hymns of the early period of Christianity in the East. Um, the second very important thing, to bring this tradition of Assyrian chants and hymns to the choral repertoire. Um, we were singing in different languages, right? But there is no any Assyrian, or what we call them, octavos, or music, sheet music. Each chant must be at the end, be like this. Okay, something a choral conductor can go and purchase for the choir, and the choir members can read. We cannot just say, oh, you know, you take this, you listen to this, and you, yeah. So, no, that's not going to be a thing for this generation. So we need, and it's like written here, the piano accompaniment, the, what a singer, a modern singer, a music major singer can, um, can see and sing. So, and... In order for the University of Oklahoma choir to sing Aoun Rushmeya and the other one, Al Tar I had to rearrange the music. I had to notate. I had to do so many things and then transliterate the text. We have a problem, a big problem with notation because music is from left to right. And then when we want to use it with our language, it's from right to left. There have been like um, previous attempts from a Syrian uh, who, who loved to uh, notate the chants. It was not really beneficial for like the, the, the music major student because what they did kept the left to right and then they flipped the words backwards so you cannot read. So it's not playable, it's not readable. So we have to create our own tools 
how to do that. And I came up with like, okay, we can do transliteration, and then I can put their Syrian text uh, at the bottom of the page. And anyways, they don't read Assyrian like the, the, the foreigner students, non-Assyrians. But this is my goal. Because right now, um, I've seen one octavo, someone, non-Assyrian composer, arranger, they're trying to do like, I want wish maya, it's becoming like a trend, you know, this is Aramaic, this is so, but they're changing, they're doing a lot of new arrangements, and then before actually we go and document what is what we already got from our parents and our um, churches. So the first step is not this. First step, like what um, Sargon said, uh, Nicholas said before, documenting. We are still in this stage documenting everything, recording, documenting, and then we'll try to figure out a system. We have to, and first I started to think, okay, I, maybe I can do that, and then when I, like I was alone, like Nina and I were like, how do we do this, how do we, we need more people to work with us. Like, Melpana uh, Akram said it so many times, we need four or five at least people to think with us, which way is better in the music field, like in, in my field. Um, so this is the second uh, very important goal, to put this, these chants into the choral repertoire. So any conductor, even my conductor asked me like, how, you know, how can we sing this, like put it in our programs? It's not doable now, until we get everything documented, then arranged and notated. And so this is transcribing the melodies. It's not an easy thing. That's why in my dissertation, I did not provide any transcription. I could just put the maqam, the scale, um, but not the actual notation, because you cannot do this, even if I, like in this stage. Uh, we have to have more than one people, not one person. And because of COVID, I had to cancel a lot of plans of like going to Atra, to other places in, in America, so I can meet in person with the people and record. This was all canceled, so I had to go a different way. Um, so we have to create our own system as in the music field, how to notate. Not everyone like, okay, I will do this and I will publish it. It's not gonna work. Um, because I've seen some attempts and I tried to play them myself. I could not. The rhythmic values are so hard to play. It's not, and when you play, when you, I'm, I'm trying not to uh, talk about any uh, technical music terms, so I don't lose you, but you cannot notate everything in, in, in our, um, uh, like the style of Qale, there's a lot of improvisation, especially in Madrasha, right? So you cannot limit the performer with like notating something. So we have to come up with our own system. Do we notate everything or do we put some like signs? Okay, this is the part where the performer can improvise. So some musicians try to notate everything and you cannot say, is this the main melody, melody or it's part of the improvisation. So when you play it, you, you don't feel like this is the same Anita and Midrasha and Sawitha. Uh, so it's very complicated. It's not as easy as like, okay, just go ahead and notate. Um, so I'm not gonna go uh, through any of this, but you just, I, I'm encouraging you, go just search Assyrian chants and just put my name. It will pop up the first thing, you'll see two files, a PDF and a Word document. I prefer, uh, so you can go to the PDF file because you will see all the format and because it's like Tulishane, you know, our uh, Syrian and English together, it's gonna be a mess if you uh, open the word. But I would like also for you, if you need any of the 20 selected chants to copy, because I spend weeks and weeks of weeks typing all the Zawa and all the, it was a lot of work, so, please feel free to copy and use it at your churches. Uh, that's why I provided the Word document. So you can do that and you can switch you know, the font to any font you want, okay? It's, uh, what I used actually is the Medakhaya because that's where I took all the stuff from. It's from Ktao Khudra, it's and Ktao Turgam, of course, so it was all in the Medakhaya font. Um, so I will just, um, 
the purpose of this study was to teach about the chance and hands uh, of the Syriac, and I said in my introduction that I'm going to uh, use interchangeably the word Assyrian, Syriac, Assyrian, Syriac, so people get n know that this is the same. Um, so the Syriac tradition from the original liturgical sources of the Church of the East. And then to analyze the text and music, because we want to know, okay, we, we say everything, Anitha, Anitha, it's not. The purpose of Tishbukhta is different than the purpose of Midrasha. Okay, and we will hopefully get to that. So, uh, providing or uh, provide information about the performance practice. Performance practices tell us a lot about the singers, fourth century. Oh, and the most important thing, Dr. Uh, Ephraim advised me from the beginning, like, you have to limit your, um, the time. So I was like, okay, since there were no dissertations, you know, uh, made before this, so like in, in the East Rite tradition, so I have to go from the base, basic. So I started, the, the earliest chance that we have, like Mar Akram and uh, the other um, theologians and writers, so I limited the time between fourth and seventh century. So Mar Marutha, Mar Akram, Mar Marutha, uh, Mar Narse, and Mar Bawai Rabba. And of course, Mar, Mar Yaqo, Mar Jacob, I will um, talk about him too, but it's not like his uh, works are not used much in, in the uh, East Rite tradition. It's used a lot in the West Rite tradition. Um, and then and providing English translations. So every Anita, every, uh, let's say, Kulla Zmirat, Jamanu Kulla, Kulla Wiena translated to English. So use them at your churches, please, because we, I mean, I, translated half of them, and then they were edited by Professor Brock um, to English. It was very hard to go word by word, and he's so good at that to do, to do the best like translation. Um, uh, the other ones, like half of them, they were already translated by Professor Sebastian Brock. So the English translation is there, um, and the original text is there. And I provided the whole thing. Like if the Anita or Sorita, let's say, it's 50 verses. I typed 50 verses, everything. Because I was taking from the manuscripts, not from these books. I mean, I was comparing, and I found so many interesting things in the manuscripts. Like each, each Sorita and Midrasha, I would go and find it in five, six manuscripts and compare, and there is, so much work to do in the future. Like, in, 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 in the field of music, it needs people to work on it. So uh, I found verses that they were in the manuscripts that didn't make it to travel to the books, the liturgical books, and the opposite. Some verses were missing, so here we come. The manuscripts, the location, where did they come from, uh, which countries, if, if it's in the Vatican or it's in the British Library, you know, different sources from different cities, is it from uh, Mardin, Iraq, uh, you know, like um, specific locations. So it's very interesting to, to go into that too. Um, so I encourage you, even if you're not a musician, just do the history part and come, you know, join me and we will publish so many um, articles about it. So the significance of uh, this study, as I said, there is some, not much by the way, in the western side, um, or western right, but nothing almost zero in the east right tradition. Um, and they only exist, they're still in the books. And I was um, talking to some of you uh, yesterday and we were talking about how even our churches Sometimes they're using some, uh, like copy they do and print, but it's in Arabic. They don't, like Sa'atid Zamar is some of the, you know, uh, they don't read it in our language. They don't read it in Assyrian. They read it in other languages. So we need to, um, to have these chants in a modern way that the singer can sing. Because, you know, the way it's here, it's not really um, singable for like a, a music major. Um, even for Sa'atid Zamar, the new modern, you know, generations, 
um, the need to study the performance practices of the chants, which provide us with many valuable information about the cultural life of the church singers. Mani Zamir Moody, a Yarabam and a Katela, Madrasha Mani Zamir Wale, Shemshana Muyawidwa, and a Raba in Anna Achfil D. As a choral conductor, I'm more interested in like people. The choir, Kum Shemshani, Sabani, Odiwa, Zamriwa Mudala, in a Lele priest Moody Amr. This is not my field. Um, so the limitation, the scope, the study provides sufficient background information uh, and melodic analysis of Syriac chants practice in, um, in the Assyrian. And I actually <laughs> combined the two churches because I believed it's a one church and we all believe that. So I just say the Assyrian and ancient churches of the East. Um, oh, I got to move fast. OK. Um, important things. I used a cappella style, we say this in the Western music, no, uh, nothing, like no instruments, because if we use a Western instrument uh, tuning, we ruin the whole thing, because most of them have uh, oriental scales or maqams. Um, if we use an Eastern, like a, a violin or, you know, uh, instrument, we're still going to limit the performer. At this point, at this level, in my research, I just want to document the thing as, as much as it's like um, without any interference, without even, like I did not ask uh, Ms. Farida to start from a specific note. Let her do her own and I will figure out how to analyze that um, uh, melody. Um, so, of course, in my dissertation, I went through everything, history, background, uh, lishana, writing system, everything like locations. But I will, um, and I did a, a lot of like connecting the music and poetry in the ancient Assyria and the modern, like uh, what we have in chants and Christian Assyrians. Because I found, and it's documented actually, that we, and Malpane, like Mar, Mar Aprem and Marnose, they use the same uh, style of writing, uh, the, the kind of um, the, the, the dialogue of um, between like uh, characters, Amrech Maran and Yohanna, Gayasa, and our style. This was not new. This was an Assyrian, uh, old Sumerian, Babylonian Assyrian style of how writing. Uh, so, um, and then uh, Assyrian female in the ancient Assyrian played music, played, uh, they were composers, and we, we heard from Malpana Aprem about in Hiduwanna. She was the first composer ever known. Yes, yeah, composer and uh, priestess and, and a princess, of course. Um, so, be, uh, male and female participated in the ancient Assyrian, and we say, we see in the, um, in the uh, first centuries, again, male and female participated in our choirs. And this was something shocking for everyone that what we had, like Mar Aprem created, the, the women's choir. He created that. So that's the earliest ever women choir. It was, what? Um, 1400 years ago, uh, and until now, some, some traditions, they don't let women sing in churches. So that was something really, it, it shocked me and uh, other uh, professors in the music field. Um, we'll go, uh, and you can read all of this information in my dissertation. Um, of course, this was all, like, if someone doesn't know the language, can just go and the mission of the Church of the East, all this kind of history, you know it better than everyone. So I focused on the four, uh, Malpane, for, let's say, theologians and writers of the Church of the East, Antina Mar Aprem, so Dorit Arpa, Khamsha um, Ishta, uh, Marbawai Rappa, and then uh, the performing, I just talked about the performing and about Ms. Farida Adam, how she chanted them. By the way, she does, after even recording, she doesn't know any of the maqams. She's never been 
uh, trained as a like Western or Eastern. She just learned them when she was a little kid and uh, matted Barwar. And right now she's in Barwar and Nala visiting from Canada. But um, so that's how she learned them and they're, you know, in her uh, memory. Um, and I gave her the choice to start from ever. And this was not easy. I mean, a cappella singing, uh, you'll find, like maybe you sing the first verse, you go to the second verse, you might go a little bit higher, lower. It's not easy if you're not accompanied by an instrument. So in this case, we're not looking about a perfect performance like every single note, you know. No, we just want to know how um, the, the melody is. And of course, you will find, I will let you listen because we don't have much time, unfortunately, but it's all in the dissertation. Uh, even Miss Farida, if I tell her, can you sing this again? And it happened so many times. She will have a little bit more impro improvisation somewhere else. So this is, um, yeah, so now I will just jump to the, I need to jump now. <laughs> I thought I had, um, Okay, so let me go a little bit back. The main thing you want to know from today's lecture or from today's uh, um, topic, we have five main genres in our chanting from like the choirs and the shamshane. Uh, the main genres are five, there are more, but these are the ones who are like chanted by the, the choir, Sa'atid Zamare, Godit Zamare, Shemshane. So the first one is Sugitha, the second is Midrasha, the third is Anitha, and number four, Tishbukhta, and number five, Mimra. And you will be like, okay, Mimra, why Mimra? Mimra Lilipa? No, a lot of memory of Marnarse and Tiana Lacha, Gokta Turgama, U Pishana Zmiri Goeta, Sab Mimre. In a metrical, Lena Kulla, metrical. If it's 12 on this side, 12 on the other side. If it's seven syllables, it's seven, so it is singable. And they are amazing. We have, I think, the survived Marnarse are 81 memre, but each memre, some of them like have 900 verse, like uh, 500, 400, yes. So, uh, Sorita. Uh, is one of the main stanzaic Yamrakhla poems genre dispute ayat mariqalukh or dialogue tawi gawet characters, okay? Um style iwa in ancient Assyrian uh, music. Okay. So we see we can make so many connections just from the field of music and mushata uh, or Indiana Hina. Example, Mashmiya Nohu, Ayat Maran, or Yohanna. Sab Aya Khaziali Guktawit, Turgama, Mutena, Rabakha Chabate, I put La Arpit Menyabate in the manuscript. And it's an amazing, amazing, please go read it, read the translation, read the dialogue. Um, and it is number three, I guess. It's about the the whole thing but we have to move to the next and I will try to be uh, this is like this the, it's in the dissertation uh, we have the, the Assyrian text and then the translation every single verse okay Madrasha Madrasha is a doctrinal hymn um, an important theological idea uh, such as salvation 
مدراش تينا جو مانيوسكريبتس هاف ميبي 6 7 8 فيرسز اند تينا مطي جو كتاو تخضرا موست اوف ذيم ار لايك 3 فيرسز او عنايا عنايا تيلا ريسبونسوريال يعني امريلا بار كل بيتا ضيري الله عنايا يمرخ لا ريفرين بالانجلش اوكي سو مدراشه ليل مخ سوغيتا لا امرخ كل ان سوغياتنا وكل مدراش لا افري وان هاز اتس اون يو نو فانكشنال يو نو مودلا قمودلا كتوتا سو مدراشه كنسيدر انذر سيغنيفيكانت ستان زي بوم كل ان بوينز اتلو حكمه مني ايزا صلابي كيمرخلو ايكول سيلابلز حكمه مني ان خذت مدراشه دول الزامت قزماره او ان ليل ايكول سيلابلز وهي خامن اناليسز و كونكلوجنز ان اي ويل موف اون بس 5 مينتس اوكي ذن وي ويل ليسن تو مدراشه سو This is more important to listen to music than speaking. You can read it all in the dissertation. And I will let you listen to Midrasha, Brihud Wasliwa. Brihud Wasliwa. Madrasha is a doctrinal hymn, and I will move to the next one. Aunita. I am from Aunita. Aunita, I am at the bush from the Qalula musically. Khamdi short, sorta. Aunita. And Rabbi Gaya Chazal Gukta would have known. In a modern, the modern churches, we have all the modal plata and machsogita via Shabbat. I know that I am five or six to seven. Aunita, the news of it. We have it, which is. Okay, so Anitha uh, is a poetic genre uh, that comes in multiple ways. dependent on something, on or it's like an independent gano to Anitha. What I'm sorry, too many things. It's Payamita. Shabba. So usually it's like it's like tempo, which is faster. Hoya, lela hat cham cham midrasha, yan sugiat bush faster. Ina midrasha bush ina slow. U tishbuch tishbuchata more like sang by even the congregation, right? Nashe tina obla achi saat zamare kulle nashe masim. Upay stanzay kila, metrical lila, tishbukhata, u itten, lina rabi yarikhe, shortina. Itten shmaniya baati shawu baati ina rabi gaye hawya bushkrita. Tishbukhta, dodakh, 
Also goes probably you came across uh, to Bardaizan, which was the first philosopher, yes. and I think Marafrem yes. adapted a lot of things yeah. from him. Even right. the woman in the church and sang. It's it's going yes. back to Bardaizan. Uh, this was just uh, yeah. a comment. But my question goes: in the Syriac Orthodox Church, we have the musical modes, what you call maqam. There are eight of them. Kadmoyo, Trayono, I don't know how much this tradition is kept in the Eastern Orthodox Church, uh, in, 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 in the uh, Church of the yeah, East. Yeah, Church of the, the, the East Rite tradition. So that's what I was trying to say. This dissertation is limited to just this part because it's a lot of 
the other, um, like the Western uh, tradition. The Western tradition has what you were saying, Qadmoyo, and all the maqams. Now, the, the East Pride tradition, they don't use that same Anita with a lot of uh, Qali. It's a, a different system. It's a different of system of Qali, not, yeah, not depending on uh, the first and second and third maqam on the same uh, uh, Anitha, let's say, or Sogitha. So it's completely, it's different. And because the Greek Orthodox, the, the influences of like the Greek and the, the notation system, so it's kind of uh, a different uh, way of, um, of singing the, the, let's say, the Zmirata, Kulle, Matanu, Sogiata, Tishbhata. And I will maybe do more research in comparison like journal articles in the future because that is very needed in the field of music like the Syrian chants. May I add just a question in relation to the numbering because you know, uh, yeah, in the Western, uh, let's say, a Syrian church mm -hmm. uh, or Syrian Orthodox church, yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah, you talk about maqami, mm -hmm. but uh, maqami in, in the Eastern, in the ancient time, uh, there, uh, there are seven different voices according to the place, whether they are from Ahmed or from Slayer and so on. There are seven different melodies upon the same text. These are what we call Qali, Qali Prish. Just last Let's question. Okay. Uh, Bukhara Khena. Uh, oh, sorry, Paka Dasya. Okay, sorry that our time is very limited. Thank you very much. And thanks again, Miakal Teva. I'm taking again the role now. Today, I have been really uh, supported by big uh, presenters and moderators, so I'm thankful. Now we are, we are arriving, let's say, at the point where we will talk again about specific topics. And as you can see, in, we have at about 45 minutes, what I say, yeah, 45 minutes, I have asked to take other 15 minutes in order to talk about the last, uh, or to use the last uh, round table. 
Uh, I would warmly ask uh, the people who are uh, invited, no, stay if you are not, you, you, you don't move from here. Yes, yes. Uh, Alda, please, would you be so kind to, to, to join? Anahit? As well, uh, Susan? Yeah. Uh, we, I know I will move uh, there then. Don't worry. Funciona el funciona el el micrófono a mano. So, oh, now it's much better now. Yeah. I will, uh, oh, good. Um, you know, yesterday I mentioned a uh, sensitive topic. Pero no se oyen ahora, ahora sí. Like. You hear me? Probably better, yeah, much better. And so I, I'm just, I'm going to show you again the Nidvecha logo. Uh, what we aim to do with or to achieve with this, uh, let's say, roundtable issues is to touch some specific topics uh, in order to also introduce gradually the participation of the females in our, uh, let's say, gatherings, congresses, in a systematic way. I'm very, very happy to count on such a talent. Uh, it's the first time probably in history that we see only a female uh, a desk where we have excellent experts. So, in different fields, by the way, in music, in the history, in the language, and also in the history but related to the genocide, where we see that uh, the Assyrian woman is honestly doing a huge work and progressing in what was, you know, until three decades, let's say, uh, mainly the work of the male, and the male was the person who was going to transmit, to teach, and so on. But we know that the woman has much more capacity somehow in uh, different fields where we can learn how to deal with them. Because you have at this, you, you have a capacity of seeing the reality from different points of view, even better than the male, in my opinion. This, this are psychological uh, issues that must be dealt, pedagogical, and so on. But we know today that the woman has a capacity from which we can learn how to manage different situations, knowledges, and combine them in a balanced way. But let's come back to our, our issues. Okay, yesterday we have touched, as I told, uh, is Atiyah here? Yeah. Yesterday she, she somehow asked, not asked, she just um, blamed us a bit in relation to whatever was, it was always male. You are right. Okay. We are now coming to this uh, point. I would love to, or we would love to learn from you how you face this, you know, obstacles. It, an experience of life is your academic life. It's not just an academic specifically said, but I would love to hear from you your experience 
not using the term female, male, but while you were studying, while you were uh, training, while you were researching, which were the main obstacles, obstacles from, you know, uh, from the society side? Were there obstacles? Did you feel that because you were female, uh, Alda, you were in, in Iraq? And we know that there is really a clear reality that we depend, even the Assyrians have, um, as other uh, people there, we have traditions, mentalities. According yesterday, it was said that, yeah, the woman is considered half of a man. In Quran, yeah, it's said clearly. So, in this relation, did you really had an experience that you would avoid or not? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Uh, first, thank you, uh, Dr. Ephraim, for bringing up this topic. I think it's one that um, our communities in general, societies, ignore. Um, you know, in the U.S., they did a study just, just recently after COVID within academia itself, academia, all professors, all academics, and uh, very recent research on this topic just after COVID. We had COVID for about two years, as you all know, globally, and they have seen in the U.S. that American female professors, their productivity level is very, very much, much more lowered than the male compatriots. This is, this is in the US. So, so we can see the direct influence on, on female productivity just because of COVID, you know, kids staying home, not being able to go to study uh, in, in schools, not having daycare centers, not having the usual help that you receive. So this is not a problem only impacting our community. It, it, it's a global problem. And, and just the, the statistics that we have from the US proves that uh, there is imbalance. As much as we've had empowerment uh, and progress, there is imbalance. Um, so in terms of my own particular research, the women that I study historically, uh, yesterday I sort of presented the issues of giving women a voice and the challenges of not finding enough sources on women. In terms of my own research, um, so Iraq, of course, has had a strong uh, women's activism, uh, but of course it's all relative, uh, and there's a lot of progress to be made, not only for the community, the country in general. Um, the challenges I've faced in, in the community, of course you have to, sometimes you're taking less seriously than a male academic. Um, you have to prove yourself, you have to work hard. Some might argue even harder than your male Assyrian colleague. Um, in terms of, um, Oral histories, which are very important for the community because not everything you will find in written sources, you have to do a lot of interviews. Uh, there's always power relations at play when you're doing oral interviews between, you know, it could be uh, socioeconomic, it could be body size, it could be gender, it could be ma many different criteria. And of course, gender is, is one of those issues that comes out at play. So, yes, definitely, these are things that you have to think about, know about, uh, and, and overcome. And I've, I think I've succeeded in, in doing um, a project that I'm happy with, uh, my research. And um, at the same time, I have been supported. A lot of doors have been opened to me. A lot of uh, community members in Iraq have welcomed me with open arms, shared sources with me, our organizations included, our intellectuals included. Uh, but I think as a community, I mean, there's a lot of progress, but this is something that you need to sort of, and, and I see a lot of you here representing organizations, but just, just keep this bias that you, we all have biases. This is a bias that you might have. When you're reviewing applications, you want to give a grant. When you're thinking about where the power really is in the community, we're, we're seeing progress. This is, we are seeing progress, and we need to be celebrating um, the work that some of our 
um, sisters have done before us. Atay is a prime example here. You know, our mothers have worked and succeeded, our grandmothers um, and, and such. And we have many role models around us. But I think you have to, as organizers, as academics, as people engage within the community, think about the biases that still exist. Uh, and think about where power relations lie. If you think about most of our political parties, most of our organizations, most of the power, and we think about power not only in terms of politics, but also financial resources, it is controlled by men in our community. That, that is, I think, the reality. So we're seeing progress. You, you see talent. Uh, and I'm, I'm very positive about the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, if... Uh, she mentioned my name when, when she was doing uh, her PhD uh, and she never achieved the, the, the level to call me Ephraim. She always writes Dr. Ephraim and I just look behind me whether I, it was me or another one. Because when I talk with, with one of uh, my fellows, whether male or female, I'm unable to call them by their academic, uh, highly appreciated level. This is why I'm just calling them as uh, I'm used to do. Uh, if, uh, by the way, you have been, really, you are the, the recent one, then our uh, Susan will uh, continue with, uh, with the research issues. While you were researching, uh, could you tell us a bit about, in, in this line that uh, Alda and the line, uh -huh. she is positive. She, you could be also critic. I don't know why it, it sounds so bad. But anyway, yeah, please, I would love to, to uh, because it's, it helps also to our, let's say, next generation, because you are somehow the bridge between what the, the, the first generation has done and now we are dealing with, and the next one, which is coming, they have to have references, uh, symbols, uh, on both sides, male and female, you, what, was, what was the main obstacle while you were, for example, researching upon the, let's say, musical tradition of the, East, of the Church of the East? So before saying about the Church of the East and the, yeah, the challenges while I was researching, I will share with you that even in the Western... Take a bit the... the the microphone, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, even in the, in the Western countries, and I was researching and I was working on my doctorate at the University of Oklahoma, so it's the U.S., if you go and see my field of study, it's conducting, and conducting is leading, and we come to the same problem. So, in our program, if there are like 10 conductors, there is maybe one female. So it's still, even in the Western idea, it's not just like, okay, this is Iraq, this is the Middle East. So, and then I will switch to the research. Um, a lot of challenges, but I found um, when I was trying to, okay, I want to uh, document the recordings. Um, I went to the, to the roots and to Mar Afram and how he, uh, I mentioned how he uh, created the women's choirs, and he had the exact the same problem that we are talking about in the fourth century. And they were not accepting women to sing in church. So that's why even like two centuries later, Mariapo of Saru, Ktule Kha Govited Mar Aprem, talking about Mar Aprem, how he treated the ladies, how he, uh, created two good Tawi Ani Zamri, yeah, yani responsorial, and Mar Apramile Widow. So, and the challenges you are men fourth century, and they are still until our modern time. Um, so, it really, when I documented, I went to the roots, and I was like, okay, even Mar Apram suggested Midrash must be like prefer to be uh, sung by a female for their voices. And then that's why I chose a female voice to uh, document the Midrash and the, all the, the selected chants in the, in the dissertations. Um, I didn't have the chance to go to uh, Atra to do any like 
during COVID because that was my writing um, last two years. But I might, I don't know, maybe in the future I'll do that. And then I will figure out more about other challenges like uh, Susan shared with us when she was going to. Uh, For sure, work. this is also an occasion to tell you that the Nineveh Chair has the mission also to favor, to foster such in, uh, research initiatives up in different topics. So uh, we will, with, you know, with the time, achieve uh, some a specific uh, results thanks to the researchers that you will do uh, and you are from now uh, not only warmly invited but most uh, welcome to start working in a collective way. This is what we have to do. So what we would love to have is to have also have you among the research groups, not only participating, but also leading, uh, conducting the research. Because, I mean, if we do have such talent here, it, uh, this talent must be used in an efficient way. So thank you. Now, I have yeah. one to share one uh, uh, from the memory of uh, Maria Ho talking about Mara Prem. Mara, the day of Pekin, the Shabbat, and the whole of the Lamaat, the Atwaray, between Amrana and Bana Qali, the day of Pekin, the Shabbat, the Lak and Khada, the Haud, the Aqnaykin, the Parisiya, the Bilidute. Uncover your faces to sing praise, Mara, the Qanishe, without shame to the one who granted you freedom of speech by his birth. This is what fourth century. So, I want to end with this. Excellent, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would love to shift to Anait, uh, and then we'll come back to you within the language. Uh, if you give, yeah. Anait, you too. Uh, also, even you live in, in, in uh, Armenia, uh, of course, the traditions, the customs are more or less the same. Uh, yesterday, or the, day, the first day, it was mentioned that the Bishop of Ahmed was the Archbishop of Ahmed and the Armenians. You remember, no? So, uh, we have many connections even to, to the Armenians, but you as also, as, as you told, uh, part of the Armenian uh, society, but as well also being a Syrian, uh, of course, there are so many points that we could focus on related to the genocide where you are specialized. Uh, how many females are really working on the, for example, on the genocide issue, um, especially related to SAFO and so on? Thank you so much for your question. Um, honestly, uh, I was born and grew up in uh, Soviet Union society. So it's kind of, it was kind of different society, like apparently like the rest of the world. So we were all equal. Uh, and personally me, I mean, for a change, I cannot say that I feel the same way how ladies are saying. Because uh, when, when I was growing up, for example, like when I say like equal, equal was like with female and male also. Yeah, of course women, they know their place, they know their mother, they have to raise children, but of course and it's an extra pressure because you know you have to take care of family and also to do your job. And I can tell on the example of my mom, she was the head of a hospital during Soviet Union time. So, and. Seeing all these things, honestly, I had never uh, feel that pressure in our countries that, you know, oh, you are female, so it means like some kind of you are restricted or there are such things you are limited. No, I, ne I never felt that. And now maybe already like living in that society, and also I believe there is one more thing, like because 
I didn't see the issue and I didn't focus on that also. Like if, apparently if you focus on the issue, you pay attention too much, maybe you will find more things. But you know, just every time behaving like, okay, no difference, you are a man and I'm a woman, if like we, are, we have the same knowledge and we have the same uh, level, why I should feel bad like, or you know, you, you, do, you shouldn't show like you are higher than I am. No, not in our society, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's a different, so, but yeah, it's not the same. In Western world, it's kind of like different also, like because now living in United States, like of course you can see this kind of things, especially in academia level and, but again, I mean, I don't know, I believe like we really shouldn't focus on that, but issue is there, it's really there. And regarding the genocide scholars, like, uh, in, in our uh, country, no, I mean, I can tell like, it's equal. We have women who are doing genocide studies and also men, so, but say for no, I think I'm the only one, <laughs> so. No, but the, th uh, I mean, the book, the mm, small amount of books I have read about, about the, the genocide, there was also a uh, typical uh, male name. Uh, you mean Assyrians and Armenians? No, no, even in Armenia. I mean, I, I haven't seen so many, probably due to my ignorance you of, you know, it's not my female, field, but yeah. the, the things I have read about it, most of them, they were men. Yeah, uh, no, we, we have females also, especially nowadays, they are more and more. Yeah, no, we have females also. Good, good yeah. to know. Uh, now to you, uh, Susan, you are now starting you know, um, we, were, we were for a long time uh, in touch uh, what we were going to do and uh, I realized that we had a huge talent in language. And I said, why don't you write your dissertation in your own language? And especially uh, for me, uh, it's a dream to have uh, not only a dissertation in my own language, but written on behalf of a part that didn't have, didn't have the chance to have the access as the male had during the, uh, throughout the history to the higher education. Now we have, we have uh, women who are at top level and they are now pushing forward, researching uh, the question of the language of course is for us is most important, more than we imagine. Mm -hmm. But how do you see it on your side? Uh, is also for example for, for Mesopotamian society, not only for the Assyrian I mean, Mesopotamian society is combined by many peoples, our neighbors that have been mentioned. Uh, how is by the way the situation of our language in our homeland? Uh, I, I'm asking you this, this question because each time I talk to an Assyrian fellow from Iraq, for example, I get a bit, uh, not nervous, but somehow angry when they mix the language such, uh, like you, you pronounce a word in, in our uh, mother tongue and then there are four following words uh, that are in Arabic. Do we have really a linguistic policy, for example, in the region you come from or not? Well, with no offense, I will try to answer in my language because <laughs> it should be like that anyway. Rabi, you'll pan at Lishana, Yanib Al Khode, Lele, Yani Ili Khamendi, Amarek Legmida. يعني جامد من سبب قد هاو اللي شانا خيا قارك هاو اللي شانا تم عما يعني مصاوت عما محكة به خبة اللي شانا خبة اللي شانا يعني اللي شانا كل برصوبة يعني تغمد البرناش هو ثقيلة قاوني لمصعة ادماصة منطيل الناشا الأقرة لشانا قد يذيل لشانا أخت إيلة من لخا 
يعني الخبة اللي شانا أنا يعني يلقاني زيلة وأبخا أرخا امشو خلبتنا لدي أرخا ولا رابا من جلدة يعني لا أمرا من سوروثي يعني أنا مخ كل خابر يا قبيثوثة لا يبلي شانا ديمو باب أختي لا يعني هذا إنا يمو بابا ليلة أنا شي ليبد لي شانا تد مغزيلة أرخد لي شانا أو خبة أنا برسو بايت إثوياوي يمن بثخنوا لكثاوة إيتا قباثا كثيوي بولي شانا دلن دايا موديلة طورس لقاوي خاخو باطا أنا جارك نبلن بردوا بدي دخو يا إن أنا قرية نجاني أثوراثة بريتة أفرد لخا وتازا خدو كتم بقري لي لي شانا خمودي لي لي يذن قرية نه أو كثوة نه الهادخ لثوالا نشو أرخا بشورايا يعني بقمثة بتمرن أنا من ثمانية مشوري لي باليابا لي شانا بزمان يعني الخكمة يواقو بغدة الخكمة بعث لثوة مدرش ياثا لثوة أرخاثة ملبتة بسنة يوثا لثوة انترنت لثوة كل أنا من ديانة مصعاية ملبتة لثوة إثوالا أختي إيتا أي دكتات ما صخوة آزخوة وأي إيتا إيمن ما صخوة آزخوة دانت تهاويلا سبيقو ثمن قريانا يعني بقيطة طلافة يرخي يأزخ تاما مشارخ من ألا بيث وهدخة وشيتا قشيتا بلي بردو شولا وبلخلي بلخلي من ناشة ليبة ويصيبة لشانا ومشوري لي من دي قاما يتبلخاني مني إيوا بوثدت لقسيقون مطارستت لقسيقون يعني كد أخني هل شيتت قلبة وقطش أمه وقطش وشوه كمبيوتر إيوا ومخرمة يو أثرة لثوالا كمبيوتر كل من دي بيدا كثو أخوالي لكسيقن ين كونش ملي مطورسلن بخابصلت أنا كل خبرة كثوان الخوراقة هاد خزورة يعني بليشانا ديان وبرقولة من يعني ما سوكالات أبرخ بليشانا أرابايا مهيمنيتو مهيمنيتو أو قنيا رابا بش مالب من كمبيوتر يعني من تتبايش كثيوة ومخميا وخبرة خبرة وهل هذا وهل هذا وهل هذا يبايش طويعة لخ يو يو مخد ناشا يعني أي من من نسياني أنا يعني قجاني هاد خوا ومن الداين ولا خ خبا أي من د شمن خ خبرة يعني جو خوطي جو يعني أخنا من دي بسيمة جو أثرة عتيروث العزة عتيروث العزة بالدشتة وطورة خويطة أنا خوطة بحكمة بلخاني يعني بلكي ترابا من ناخو لي ذيلا خيوثي إنا بحكمة بلخاني بولا طيقايا شو تأمرا هاد خابش تاون اللي استد أنا خوطة نقو كل ابن عم نقو كل مثوى فبطورة ودشتة يشمن منها يذن لعزاها وخبرانة دي أمري لقايقة مثل مشمعتي يشريننا يشريننا أي ماك الذي قد يذنك ما خبرة شريرة له أو خبرة ديني له تريسة له ين نخرايا له من سبب أختمر ملبانا رابا من يعني بشمتة أمرا من ابن عم جو دشت الدنيا من بارد ألقش وتلسخف وآني لشانها ين لعزاها إن أمري خابض غاما أصرا خبرانة ثمانية منها بعربي لا تري خبرانة بهاي بسور ولبس آين إثرابة من ديانة هرب عربي يعني باشي مشو خلبة الدو سرعابة تأمرخ لا أدي لبلشانة يعني بإنجليزي وإذا هادخ أنا من ديانة يعني لينا رابدوس وبخوطة ملبتة يعني تلاناشة مطارست لشانا إيوه وخامندي يعني رابع أنا مقايا لهذا أنا من دانا دمبلي الرش لشانا كل كثير ياثي يعني أنا قريت ون إنجليزي يعني تخصص ديد ماجستير إلى إنجليزي وأر عربي ون قريت لما مدرا مدرشة من شيء تقمثة هل دين بركتة إنا أول لشانا بيلد مخيان بخبص لخينا 
كل كثير وياثي وكثاوة دي وانا بلد تلي ايوان مبلغتا لشانا افوراية قاودية ولا اختي لشانا خاقة فرخينا يو ما لبدد لشانا اتلد بين امرنا يعني قو ايه تاثا لا خشوخ اخني كل قاشة قاشة دي يعني شوش امرد ايه تن يان خجو بش الله الله هاي ابس قوبا يان خمد الى لي بي اما قو اما لشانا لا 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 هذا من سبب انا رابي جاي خزين يعني قوم ملاها ينطرا خبران امري لك بس قابك ما بساخك هل هذا مجربا يعني قد انا من دياني بيشي مدرسه قد ياول ناشا قاب برصوبتي لبرقوله من ديت الى تريسا لهذا خامندي أنا نقاية ليو كل خناشة يعني أدي لبشماين وأدي لبغزاين تزلت بثر لشانا ليلة أختي ديادن قال لبيت وزوعي وكثوان ولا أنا هل أديو يوم ما مندي كثوان لكسيق ونجري هذه قربي إن لا دار لكسيق ونخزين زوعي دخيلة كثيوة أو خبرة بخشال اللي دوسي له كما طري صائث أنا بكثاونة بيجا مصلينة من سبب أنا أو كثاولة لا أختي أم لو أدين بكثاولة أد أد بيش ذي ناشا إنا أبولي شانا قد بيش خا يعني خا أرخا أد ما لبته لا غزي دخيلك ثوتة أي أو خبرة دخيلك ثيوة أو بضغامة دخيلة طريسة أنا من دي أنا رب أنا نقايلة قم بلغت لي شانا من هذا خي أمر لي شانا خمندي لا لا يعني مي فلا إن لا أخني ما خي يخلا وما خيتت لي شانا إلى ما بلغت دي بروي خوثا وإلى ما بلغت دي بطري سوثا وإلى ما بلغت دي قو كل يلبانا مهمنيتو مهمنيتو يعني وأمرخ لرابا قايا إسري إسري وترتب أثواثا إتلن إنا هل هادخ أن إسري وترتب أثواثا ماسخ مبلطخ وخشلخ خبرانا مني قو كل يلبانا وبلك تغزيلا رابي سمير ويمد مغزيلا مخاروثا ميكاني كيثا دخي قميطي لي أن من دياني بغداد ومضورس لي أن خش خاثة هادخو لهادخ كل يلباني لخش من هاوي لان خا قطرة إنا سنيقي وخ تهاوي لان سعتا مثل شناني دياتوي مغداد قد قطري خا شولة مقت أمري دريسة قا شولة قد أحفظ البثاية قا كل جنريشن ستينا بثاية أو يتراب السمتة ولي مغيك من ريشان شو تابوت عثورايك الدايد بارس وهم شو تابوت عثورايك الدايد بلتيكا يمن إن مشارخ الملبت لشانا خا تنسوس إن أخيتا ببلاتفورم بوا دوراشة لشانا بزونا أدآتي أد عادي خازوت نصور الدية والراب وراب شبرت هيلا وقطرت هيلا وبشطة إيه أمر الرابي خمن دي بين أمر النيقة موضع نوثا ليلة ما نايقد أمر خليشانا أنا غزيث الرابا كثاوي الرابا أنت كثوي شيري إني كثوي مملة إمجابي خيك ما خبراني حد خي يقورة لا ليلة كمت هاوي كمت هاوي بشي طوثة قولي شانا بش بس يملة لهذا خمن ديت أمر الرابي أنا يعني يلباني لخا ليها ويبت لشانا أبن أبن خسامة من نبتاوي لشانا إنا خملو أخينا لي سبرايا بش إلى من لشانا يا تروسا تروسا سو ناو هاي ديت نشو آلي من ناش الدينك بيشا خا ناو it's it's also occasion to that the assembly raises some questions do we have some question to the uh, to our ladies, uh, masters, or because we are now gradually arriving to a moment where again the stomach is a shana Frederick. Okay, أيت أوبا أيت أوتراف السين. ااا ذي جاست لاس كويشن. نوبدي. سو إف نوت هاوتن رابرا بسيمي. 
ادی خیت ادا حت مخلا ادی پشت ادا بزن بغل خوی خالا و یا going to have lunch and then uh, we will have our melfana of al masih and then we are going to have uh, a meeting a general meeting talking about uh, the Nineveh academic chair projects uh, where i would love to have uh, suggestions because we have tried uh, to do our best but i'm sure the project is still on you know en route uh, would a french speaking would say so uh, that's why suggestions, ideas, proposals are most welcome because we have to accomplish with a mission. This is the way where we can start building, uh, especially thinking on a specific issue that is our language, history and literature. Thank you very much again and now let's go. We are going to eat in a different place as you have seen. Every day we have eaten in a different place. So you can also enjoy the, the city. Uh, we are going to eat, to have lunch uh, at Delicatessen restaurant. Uh, it's very next to here. So as you have seen, Salamanca is a small city where we can go walking. And uh, afterwards we will come back here again. So, and we will close uh, the sessions. Thank you again. Hey, no, hey, no.